वेलकम व्यूअर्स दिस इज ग्रीन गाय टैरो एंड दिस इज योर वट नेक्स्ट इन लव पिक अ कार्ड रीडिंग सो टेक अ डी ब्रेथ थिंक अबाउट योर ऑप्शन फ्रॉम पायल नंबर वन टू एंड थ्री एंड वी विल स्टार्ट द रीडिंग फ्रॉम पायल नंबर वन वेलकम पायल नंबर वन दिस इज योर वट्स नेक्स्ट इन लव पिक अ कार्ड रीडिंग सो लेट स्टार्ट द रीडिंग विथ योर टेरो देन वी विल फॉलो योर ऑर्कल कार्ड्स Pile number one, your first card is nine of cups. That's good. Next, you have the moon card. Then you have the magician. Two major arcana's back to back. Then you have two of wands. And the final card is the hermit. Okay. Nine of Cups is telling me that there will be wish fulfillment for some of you, and this is something that is definitely something you wished for a long, long time, and it is coming in your way. This can definitely be a new relationship. This can also be some improvements or leveling up in your present relationships. Your next card is the Moon card, the Major Arcana, that tells about you having the loyal support of your friends and family. But there is more, and that you need to know in this relationship that you are in presently or wishing to have in your life. You need to gather more information about the situations and the person. probably and you need to follow your intuition very much your next card is the magician so you are the blessed one and you know what to do how to handle the situation you have the vision you have the vision of the future how you want to shape it how you want to have it and you are definitely moving forward to pursue it Your next card is the Two of Wands. This is the card that tells about you getting out of your comfort zone and stepping up. In this relationship, you are definitely trying harder, and you are moving forward for something precious. This is not just a fling. You are definitely into this relationship very much, and you want to improve every aspect of it. So you are ready to venture on. The final card is the Hermit card. This is a card that tells about the quest for the knowledge. So. whatever you didn't know about the person or the knowledge you need to pursue this beautiful relation you are definitely working hard for it if you need to have a job to find a better situation to have this relationship into next level you are definitely working hard for that probably you are studying hard or trying for higher studies or higher trainings for that kind of scenarios or you are definitely want to handle anything that comes in your way in this hermit card i can see that there is a mountain and climbing a mountain is no joke So this is something that is telling me that it is going to be a long journey but you are prepared you can see this person with a backpack and he is determined so you are very much prepared for this journey ahead of you and you are not stopping until you get your prize so that's something really beautiful and strong Let's see what we have for you in the oracle cards. Your first card is wise leader. You are a beacon for others. So 
definitely your friends and family supports you and admire your courage or your spirit to move forward towards this relationship there are some difficulties probably that you need to overcome because mountains are coming over and over again in the previous card also there was a mountain here it is also there probably your partner thinks of your thinks of you so highly because you are the one who is stepping up for the betterment of this relationship and you are not cutting any corners your next card is embarking on an adventure i savor the wonders of the world so there is the journey that you are definitely heading on this can definitely be the journey of your relationship and it is the time that you are definitely heading for better days better scenarios for you both and you are working hard for that i can see from the cards your next card is imagine this is a card that tells you to have the vision as the magician had it and don't lose it eyes on the prize and that will definitely give you the inspiration to move forward don't lose the focus your next card is turn knowledge into wisdom again the knowledge part is definitely coming over and over again that's why i'm thinking that probably at least some of you are hoping for beginning a family for that you need a better job or better situation in your business and for that you want to train yourself better so this is something that you need to be focusing on very much your final card is alchemy you have the midas touch right now and every project you begin turns to gold so this is the card that tells that this is the perfect time for you to begin this journey and that's why you are beginning this and it is going to be very successful there is no stopping you and you must not have any doubt that things will work out for good so pile number 1 this was your what next in love pick a card reading if you like my reading please hit the like button don't forget to share subscribe and comment thank you very much for your participation have a great day welcome pile number 2 this is your what's next in love pick a card reading let's start the reading with the tarot then we will follow your oracle cards pile number 2 your first card is queen of wands next you have the chariot then you have the king of swords next you have the knight of swords and the final card is two of swords okay pile number 2 your first card is the queen of wands so there is so much love and passion happening for sure in this relationship of yours you are definitely into this very much and you are in a very high vibrational state at this point of time your next card is the chariot so there is some fast movement fast communication i can say because next three cards are the swords cards so there will be communications happening messages long talks and definitely sweet conversations are there and there will be things coming into surface that you didn't know previously and it is for your betterment because chariot is the major arcana that tells that this is something very much progressive your next card is the king of swords so there will be knowledge that will come from this communication that is going to happen 
and this is something that is very much needed in this relationship your next card is the knight of swords so i can tell that not both of both of you are not in the same energy one of you is definitely mature than the other one and communications are needed to definitely in balance because conversation between a king and a knight is a little bit different than a king and queen so there is need for coming in the same page for both of you and that is reflecting the final card is the two of swords this is the card that tells about you making some decisions after having the knowledge and the conversations and this is very important i think you guys are mostly in the beginning stages of this relationship of yours and at this point of time communicating and lot of communication is needed and that will help you to decide upon the future that's what i'm getting from the cards let's see what we have for you in the oracle cards okay your first card is fellow traveler support is all around you this is the card that tells about the journey and you guys are beginning the journey you can see in this card the path is beginning and the rainbow is a little far away so you need to move forward for sure and that will definitely happen with your fellow traveler so that is really blessed that i can tell let's see the next card dwelling in truth i stand in the light of truth this is the card that is emphasizing on those three swords cards this communication that needs to happen that needs to happen on the light of the truth so don't hide any emotions or information from each other because that will create complication in the future at this point of time clear communication and truthful communication is very much needed your next card is observer this is the card that tells you pile number 2 to take the back seat and let the other person talk let them come to you observe be a listener being a better listener is definitely something that will help you for sure your next card is the turtle spirit slow and steady wins the race so take things a little slow don't rush at this point of time this is the strategy that you need to follow because when you are thinking of building something big and long term you are definitely in need of a strategy or a plan beginning of the relation that is natural that can happen but if you are thinking about something committed and something long term that will involve many other people around you yes it is definitely for you both for you guys only no one else matters but not all the time that is true for everyone there are people in our life that definitely come into the frame when two people are in union your next card is make a wish this is a magical moment make a wish and enjoy its manifestation i was telling you this is a time of the beginning stage i can see and you are in the place where you can make a wish and definitely go into 
the process of manifesting that. To manifest this wish, you need to be patient, you need to be observant and you need to stand by the truth. With the partner that you choose, it is a time for lot of communications. So pile number two, this is your what's next in love pick a card reading. If you like my reading, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much for your participation. Have a great day. Welcome pile number three. This is your what's next in love pick a card reading. Let's start the reading with the tarot. Then we will follow your oracle cards. Pile number three, your first card is seven of cups. Then you have the Sun card, the Major Arcana that instantly makes me happy. Your next card is Ace of Wands. Then you have the Six of Cups. And the final card is Knight of Wands. Okay. Pile number three with the Seven of Cups that I can see. There are options for you. If you want to begin a relationship, there are options. If you are already in a relationship, this indicates that there are decisions that you make or decisions that you need to make and choose a path regarding the relationship. And you need to choose wisely. And you are going to choose wisely because the very next card is the sun card and that is the card of ultimate blessings, prosperity, abundance, new beginnings. So definitely this will give you the advantage to move forward in this relationship or leveling up in this relationship towards something committed. And the very next card to that is the Ace of Wands. So there is lots and lots of passion and new beginnings are definitely indicated. So that is something really good. And this new beginning is going to bring you your heart's content. Because the very next card to that is the Six of Cups. This is the card that tells me that... If this is something new that you were planning to move ahead with, the person that you are choosing to move ahead with is someone from your past or you have a past life connection with them. And this is going to be something really joyful and happy for you. Your final card is the Knight of Wands. So there are lots of passion indicated and steady progress is also indicated. But you need to hold on to that energy because Knight of Wands are known to have the on again, off again energy. If you see something like that, don't be so worried because... If that is the energy that you get in the beginning, it is the time of decisions. Some days you feel so happy, so jolly. Some days you don't. So be mindful of that. Let's see what we have for you in your oracle cards. Okay, your first card is Gates of Triumph. Success expand in your life. With the Sun card, we already knew that there will be blessings coming in and this gates of triumph card is also telling that this is a stage of expansion in your life so you are definitely moving forward towards something better your next card is renewing your life radiant vitality is filling my life so this is the card that tells about you getting out of a stuck situation, a toxic situation probably and getting rid of that, getting rid of the clutter that was there in your life that was stopping you to move forward, be happy, you are healing yourself 
and letting go of old wound and trauma and moving forward. Your next card is flexible. At this point of time, you are not being rigid. You are being flexible as the situation flows. You are moving forward and you are taking things a little lightly. You are not into too much seriousness and you are not being someone who hold on to so much baggage in their life. As you are letting go, you are being flexible and probably that is the energy of the Knight of Wands. Your next card is Wombat Spirit, be at home. If there is restriction around your place because of the pandemic, definitely stay at home. If that is not the case in your place, definitely this is the card that tells about spending good times, spending cozy times with your loved one at home. And that will be something that you are going to get. And definitely that is really good. Your next card is Break Free. A different venture and experience as a way to grow and learn. Try different ventures and experience as a way to grow and learn. Break Free. So this is the path that you need to choose. You need to get rid of the old and toxic and suffocating situations that was going on previously. Now is the time for you to break free from that and move forward for, for new experiences and for learn and grow with them. So pile number three, this was your what's next in love pick a card reading. If you like my reading, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much for your participation. Have a great day. So viewers, this was your what's next in love pick a card reading. If you like my reading, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much for your participation. Have a great day.